Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanted to talk to you about a question I keep getting uh, from some of the newer builders out there and even some uh, pros is, doctor, doctor, how do you square up a deck? So I thought I would show you guys a couple different techniques of how we do it and then you can uh, take your pick and maybe learn a little something today. If you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we're putting out new content. Okay? All right, let's go. All right, so what I have here is I have a, the end of the deck. The deck ends over here. See that? All the joists are run wild right now. What I wanna do is I'm trying to figure out where to cut that because this is where I'm gonna start laying my first deck board, over here. So what I'm doing is my deck run over here is a little over 20 feet. So I took a, a really nice straight 20 foot two by six and I laid it on the deck and then unfortunately there's a lot of vents on the side of this house there's a septic thing in the way all these wires and, and piping and all this stuff's in my way I'm using a fold-out square this square is made by Stanley now I've had this question a jillion I mean a jillion times okay so here you go I've had mine for a minute I don't even know what this says, but I think it says Stanley Folding Square, okay? I actually value this square so much, I wrote Stabila on it so people would stop stepping on it, okay? So it's a Stabila in Stanley's clothing. So don't step on my Stabila. So you can see the arrow right here? That's how you open this thing up. So you can't, if you open it this way, it's not gonna work. You gotta open it like the arrow says, all right? And we actually have two different versions of this. This is a true 45 version, and I have another version that's more like a 345. Um, I'm sure, how many of you have heard about a 345 before? I'll go over that in a minute, but if that's another way to square up a deck. You measure three feet one way, four feet the other way, and then the diagonal is should be at five feet. We'll double check this with that technique once I show you how to do this. All right, but I have this. This is like cheating, okay? This is a great tool, it's probably 50 bucks. I think I got mine at McClendon Hardware. You can check them out online, I suppose. They're, I think they're a local uh, hardware chain. All you East Coasters, I'm sure there's somebody else that carries these things, man. But, I don't know, whatever. All right, so what I did is I took, since I have so much garbage on the house, I took another straight board and I, I'm doing an average. Okay, I'm just averaging out what I think square is because I'm up against all these pipes and all this other stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my square, I'm gonna put it up against my average board, and then I'm gonna run it up to this two by six. And you can see, I've got a gap here, I've got a gap here, and I'm tight over here. So that means I gotta move this board that way a little bit to try and average this out to square. So I'm gonna move it a little, I'm just gonna take my square until I like the way this looks. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay. Most guys use a speed square to do this. Oh, that looks, that looks good. Yeah, we're square. Uh, no, don't do that, all right? So now, just to double check my method, okay, let's go, we're gonna measure from, from this point, three feet this way. Put a mark on the board. Okay, I'm gonna measure four feet this way. Put a mark on this board. And then when I measure that mark to this mark, I should have five feet. Not bad. I know now that this deck is, this this line of this board is square. Okay, so some of you are asking, come on, doctor, that two by six ain't straight. So it's not perfect. Well, I'm not gonna go by and I'm not going to mark the board. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark this end of this joist and I'm gonna mark the far end of the far joist and I'm gonna chalk a line and then that's what I'm committed to. That board is gonna be fairly square to the deck. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's very accurate and this is, for me, the most accurate way. You could use a string line, 
but that's what a chalk line is basically. Strings can be really accurate, but f what I found is this two by six method or any flat straight board works pretty good as well. Uh, it's gonna get us in the zone, in the neighborhood. We're gonna be super close to what we need. So um, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that explains a little bit and uh, helps you give you a little bit of understanding. Even how you can square something up and you, you don't have a straight area, you can make one and then square off of that. It'll get you very close to where you need to be. If I'm still concerned, I could take this square, I could pull it out on some joists that maybe I have ran and I could check it. And man, in my opinion, like, that's cash. Okay, so even even when I pulled out two feet from the house on the joist that I've already ran, it's square as well. Normally I always try to square off a foundation of the house or the first layer, but I don't like to square off siding too much because I found siding is not very accurate. It's usually wavy. Like this. Okay, so uh, that's why it's always nice to, to get something else that's straight that uh, you trust. That's all I got for you today, guys. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below and like our videos, share them around, give them as Christmas presents to all your friends. Christmas is coming soon, so, you know, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.